I'm one of the top investors at this company. I've been here since the beginning. Are I got in here on the ground floor and I took a <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, pour the wine. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of The Kitchen and Jorn Show. The Kitchen and Jorn Show, welcome to our wine seance. <laughs> it does I'm just look kidding. Like we're it. we're <laughs> not gonna revive dead wines. Or are we? Are we? So we are trying every Trader Joe's branded wine. Of which there are 16. 16? There are 16, I counted them. Counted. This is correct. You're welcome, Kelly. You're welcome. These are the wines that were available at our local Trader Joe's. For some reason, they didn't have a Pinot Noir. There's like eight Chardonnays, but no Pinot Noir. <laughs> I don't know why. We are not wine experts. Like, you are a wine hobbyist. Though. I'm a wine hobbyist. I have a very, very, very small collection of like 12 bottles. Yeah, but you have a wine fridge. You and your wife regularly go on trips to wineries and get yeah. new wines. Like you, you do really explore like different wines a lot. Yeah, actually funny story. When we moved to this apartment, Brie came to me and she was like, good news. The wine collection is on the moving truck. And I was like, are you fucking kidding? Go and get it off the moving truck. <laughs> oh my God. I, was... I guess moving trucks are too hot. They're way too hot. Anyway, I just want to talk about wine. Well, you'll get to. We're starting with the white wines. There's seven whites, nine reds. The whites are, have been chilling in the fridge overnight. And should we get started? Yes. As per usual, we oh, rate yeah. these on a scale of just okay, pretty good, really great, and if you absolutely suck, penalty box bad, or in this case, penalty box bowl. Yeah. Because this is the spit bucket. Spit bowl. This is so we don't get too wasted. Yeah. We're gonna regularly empty that, or I will bomb. This is our first wine. It is the Trader Joe's Growers Reserve Chardonnay, California, 2019. Pretty neat. There's a lot of like reserve Trader Joe's wines because they're trying to be like, it's wine, but not <laughs> So it's like, this is their other way of trying to say, hey, this Chardonnay, you could drink it theoretically. <laughs> it's crisp, delightful with peach, melon, and stone fruit notes, subtle vanilla oak, and a well-balanced finish. Sound like it should be what a Chardonnay Listen, tastes like? This is a Chardonnay from Trader Joe's. I don't know how much this costs. I know all these wines, I think were under $15. All right, well, we'll taste it. Um, I Listen, if it doesn't taste like metal, it's a victory. It's perfect. Let's give it a little. Smells so. like old grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's, this is our wedding crystal. Oh, so cute. That's why, that's why it sounds so nice when you choose it. Mm. Okay. Actually, that's not bad. I think that's kind of pleasant. That's, it's very buttery. You can definitely taste the vanilla. You can definitely taste the oak. I'm not getting the fruit as much, but like. I will say I'm someone who doesn't really drink that much. I certainly don't drink that much wine, but I don't think it has a harsh aftertaste. So I like it. Honestly, the thing about cheap Chardonnays is they tend to taste like tin cans and this one doesn't. The Growers Reserve Trader Joe's Chardonnay. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like it, but I don't want to get drunk. So in the bucket. <laughs> Sorry, let me just cleanse my palate. <laughs> oh my God, the, the spit bucket already looks gross. It just looks like we peed oh. in there. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Also, have you noticed that we're very tall? It's because we're on the new, new bar, bar stools. stools. So they're too old. We got new bar stools from Ikea. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. They're, uh, they're or... taller than the old ones because we didn't do a measurement. So this is the uh, Trader Joe's Petite Reserve Chardonnay from Mendocino County, 2019. Petite. Oh, oh no, I cut myself in the middle. Oh no, I'm already injured. It's our first video injury. Well, that's not true. I can just grab them from over here. Yeah, I don't know why it's called the Petite Reserve. This is not regulated in this country. Are you supposed to shake it? I always do store So water. I've just opened these. So like, obviously they haven't had like a lot of air in them. So like, I guess you can like kind of give it a little bit of oxygen. Well, I'll take a sip. Notes of pear, peach, caramel apple, and light butter toffee. I don't like this one as much. It's got a harsher aftertaste. Okay, so this is what I mean by cheap Chardonnay tastes like licking a barrel, uh, like a metal barrel. It's like licking a keg. Yeah, it's got kind of a metallic taste. This yeah. one I think is just okay. Uh, it's not penalty box bad, like you could drink it. And I think if you actually had food with it, like that would make it more palatable. This is like, here's the thing. You know how when you're drinking, you're having fun with your friends, uh, this is bottle one, this is bottle three. It's cause you care about what it tastes like when it's bottle one. And by bottle three, it's like, eh, yeah. Yeah. I wanna sleep with your wife. <laughs> Who's afraid of Virginia Wolf? So, you know, it doesn't really matter what the wine tastes like at that point. Cause the dinner party is already ruined. Or it's just uh, begun. Or it's just begun. The Petite Reserve Chardonnay, just okay. It's just okay. The this is the Trader Joe's Grand Reserve Chardonnay from Napa Valley. Carneros, Napa Valley. Lot 51, estate. All right. It's a lot of words to be like, this is the Chardonnay that's gonna taste the least like pennies. <laughs> it's just trying to indicate to you that even though the top line says Trader Joe, ignore this and just focus on the bottom part of the label. What kind of grape is Chardonnay made from? Uh, Chardonnay grapes. Oh, that's almost too easy. <laughs> the wines are named for the types of grapes that they're made from. I don't have a foil cutter, so that's why I'm opening these wines like that. And also these are Trader Joe's wines, who cares? I don't think our audience is sophisticated enough to know 
that we're opening the wine bag. People always have opinions about things that I do online. <laughs> People are always just like, did you know that Christian smells? And it's like, you can't smell anything through the computer. That's a lie. All right, let's try this. Oh, wait, hold on, there's still some old shard. Good, you really, just, you can give me just like a drop because I will not be drinking it. <laughs> it smells good. It does smell good. It doesn't have any tasting though. So it's just like, uh, Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Oh, try it, idiot. <laughs> Hope you like it, bitch. <laughs> I actually find that pleasant. This is lovely. This is not bad at all. Wow. This is actually quite good. We both really like this wine. So Kristen looked up how much it costs. Apparently it's $13. This is $13. All right. I'm actually shit. kind of surprised. Wait, Brie, you want to come try it? I'm happy that like these, there are some good ones early. Cause when we start the, off the bat with a bunch of bad ones, it just makes everybody sad. Yeah. Wanna try it? That is pretty solid for $13. That's actually really solid. Yeah. I'm shocked at how nice this is. Dang. So the Trader Joe's Grand Reserve Chardonnay. Really great. Really great from Napa. This is the Central Coast. The beautiful Central Coast of California. Central Coast is a, like a place where good Chardonnays are, are made. I don't know if this is one of them. Oh my God, this foils. I really should just buy a foil cutter. I know that like you can get like a wine key and like it's, yeah, I'm not a waiter. Well, not even a waiter, but like- You're not a Psalm. Yeah, to be like Psalm certified, you have to be good at opening wine. I'm not, so that's just my craft to bear. Coast mm. mm. smells like the sea. It doesn't, it smells like- Fruity. fruity. I don't like it. <laughs> don't like it. Here's the thing, it's like melon and peach. I'm like, I taste the melon, but I'm, it's, I'm getting kind of more of a pear. It's a little tart. Okay, the more I drink it, the more I'm like, it's okay. Mm. This is what we call a food wine. It's a wine that like isn't like, it's very tart. And so therefore, if you eat it with something that's like, like a very fatty pasta or something. That like a great. fettuccine, yeah. it's good. Cause like the acid kind of cuts through the fat. That sounds true. It's, <laughs> it's not bad. I would say this is just okay. I think this is but pretty, you could get me to pretty good. The Trader Joe's Coastal Chardonnay. Pretty Pretty good. Pretty okay. That doesn't exist though. It does. Yeah, but Kelly doesn't have that category. Kelly, make a new category, please. Pretty, pretty okay. okay. For when we compromise. We're doing pretty good. Well, yeah, because we're so sexy. Sexy makes you go faster. That's physics. This is the Sauvignon Blanc Grover's Res Gro 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 you, you say it. You say it. The Muppet <laughs> Family brand of wine. Muppet. Anyway, this is the Trader Joe's Grover's Reserve Sauvignon Blanc 2019, made with organically grown grapes. Mm. Our 2019 Sauvignon Blanc is deliciously fresh with crisp flowers of apples and grapefruits leading to a clean and refreshing fit. It means nothing. Oh, we'll see about that, baby. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Wine fact. Wine, wine fact about me is one time in college, I drank too much Franzi and then I puked. A wine fact about me is that I wine a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's All right, Whoa, you do taste like kind of sour apple. I don't know if they intended it that way, but you I taste the apple. This right? is good. I like this. <laughs> I'm of the opinion that up to $40, wine tastes about the same. 40 to 60 is a different category, and then 60 to 100 is a different category. And then after that, I don't, it's all kind of the same to me. A $100 bottle of wine is gonna taste the same as a $1,000 bottle of wine to me. I would say the Grower's Reserve Sauvignon Blanc. Pretty good. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. I don't even like white wine that much. Good for us. Our Coastal Sauvignon Blanc is crisp with hints of tropical fruits, goose berry and mineral notes. Cheers. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so the wine has to go in your- I know, I coughed as if I- If you breathe the wine, it I doesn't know. work. Pretty good. You, you will die. I liked it. <laughs> well, mm, it smells good. It smells like brunch. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, this is oh. Dece. It kind of tastes like nothing. It's very mild. I think this is a good like port wine where it's like, you know, it's not too sweet. I'm not a big white wine drinker, but I find myself coming back for more. <laughs> it's like a romance novel. All right, so this was under $5 on its own merits. I still think it's just okay. I don't know if this is like, yeah. I think it's more like, yeah. yeah. This is the Charles Shaw This is the Charles Shaw 2018 Rosé. Now, Charles Shaw is Trader Joe's. That's their own brand. Yes, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. <laughs> Charles Shaw is what is known colloquially as two buck chuck or three buck chuck. This wine was $4. It's a rosé. It's made from, or, 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 blah, 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 blah. it's made from food. The way you make wine is you step on food and you put it in a bottle and you wait 10 years and you drink it and forget your problems. We at Charles Shaw strive to bring you quality and value to your customers. Okay, calm down, Charles Shaw. Wow, that was, was, was anticlimactic. I thought that was gonna make more of a sound. I actually hate rosé. I think if you're gonna be called rosé, you should at least be pink for like the gay factor, like for the fun factor of being gay. But it's 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 a rosé and it's not even pink, so what is the point? It is pink, it's pinkish. No, it's not. Yes it is. Yeah, like maybe more- It's not, it could be more pink. You know what rosé looks like. I know. Rosé looks pink. Listen, don't judge a wine by its color. That is one <laughs> of the ways you judge a wine, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A little tart, but not terrible. Here's the thing. This is like definitely a wine you drink with your aunt before you get in a fight with her. It, 
Am I wrong? Well, yeah, a lot of ants like Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just drink wine. Let's just talk about that one thing that happened. Uh, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Charles Shaw Rosé. Pretty good. Listen, you can't choose your family. But you can choose your wine. <laughs> and your aunt chooses this one. <laughs> this is their Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon. This is two buck chick. And it's a twist off. It's a twist off. Just so. like my root beer. I'm gonna guess maybe the worst Cabernet you've ever had in your life. Oh. Whoa, it smells like buttered noodles. What the f It smells like too sweet candy. Mm. It tasted like candy. It stings the palate. Mm. It's like, it just sucks all the moisture out of your mouth. It's like, I feel like my skin aged like 40 years. What does it taste like to you? It kind of just tastes like, I don't know, college. If somebody took Welsh's grape juice and just like dumped another half pound of sugar in it and then like just left it in the basement for like 10 years and then they were like, oh, what's this whole thing? That's like bad, this is penalty box bad. This yeah, is like, we can penalty box it. Sauvignon, no. Sauvignon. <laughs> Sauvignon, there we go, we got it. This is the Trader Joe's Coastal Low. What do you think? This is going to be good. I think this is going to be fine. I like their coastal stuff has been very palatable. That's right. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> That's so good. <laughs> it went up the wrong place. Did I spill any wine on myself? I can't tell. I can't see over my boobs. <laughs> So what'd you think of it? <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I honestly, I was so distracted by you nearly dying. <laughs> It's a dry merlot. There's not a lot to it. It's sort of like a movie with like an act one and an act three, which is how I would describe A Quiet Place Part Two. There's no middle. There's no middle. It's just like the beginning and then it's like the climax. And it's like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this wine's like that, where it's like the beginning of the wine, the finish. And it's so like- So it's average. It's just okay. <laughs> it's just okay. Yeah, the Trader Joe's- Okay, oh, please. Okay, well, phone. maybe I'm not. I'm even drunk. I'm just like- Clumsy. Clumsy. <laughs> so the Trader Joe's Coastal Merlot. It's just okay. <laughs> it's just okay. <laughs> Ooh, this is a Trader Joe's Reserve Zinfandel Dry Greek Creek Valley. Dry Dry Greek. You know what? You read it. <laughs> this is the Trader Joe's Reserve Zinfandel. Dry, 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 dry. It's, a, it's a Zinfandel. <laughs> Trader Joe's Reserve Zinfandel Dry Creek Valley, Sonoma County, 2020, Lot 71. Oh, great. A Zinfandel. Oh my God, that Studio was made, 71. A Zinfandel that was made last year. Aromas and flavors of luscious blackberry, cherry, and plum. I actually really like Zinfandel. I actually like big, bold wines. I'm a big, bold wine lady. Oh, this should have gone in the more low, probably, so we don't knock it over. I see a vision where someone I kicks, don't, kicks that open. Well, you didn't give it to me when I was taking it down, so right. I don't know. I can't see how that's something I could have anticipated. <laughs> it seems like you're Help intimating me. that something is my fault, but what I'm intimating is that nothing it actually is. <laughs> Sometimes we have to learn how to anticipate needs. No. Guy's gonna put his hands in the air, and then he's gonna put them down. <laughs> Okay. It's kind of like a jumping jack. I just realized the yeah. corkscrew motion. That's kind of neat. All right. Ooh, I don't like the carbonation sound there. All right, let's try the zim. It's more fun that way. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh, this isn't bad. I actually kind of like that. It's very dry. I think Ooh. that's what I'm liking. Yeah, the Dry Creek Valley. We're not You're joking kidding. about that. There is no water in that valley. The puppy's dry. Yeah. I would say the this Trader Joe's deuce. Reserve Zinfandel. Pretty good. I think this is pretty good. I think good. this is pretty good. This is the Trader Joe's Reserve Syrah. Napa Valley 2020, Lot 192. Just so you know, this is limited lot. edition. This is definitely like the wedding invitation. Lot yeah. and embossing. Mm -hmm. Aromas of plum, dark fruits, and hints of black pepper that lead to a rich round texture and long finish. Interesting. Everybody loves a long finish. I mean, I I don't know, I don't like a long finish. It's like, wrap it up, you know? Places to be, other people to fuck. <laughs> well, that sounds delicious. So let's taste the Syrah. Syrah, Syrah. Syrah. Is that a band? Michael or? Syrah. I think that's pleasant. It doesn't really taste like much, which might be why I like it. <laughs> Can I get, hey Brie, you wanna come try the Syrah? I don't trust my mouth on this. <laughs> I mean, the wine might be bad, but you, you sure are cute. Oh, thank you. I just came up with a good band name, Carly Rae Stepson. <laughs> yeah, anyway, sorry, tell me about the wine. It's trying to be dry. The notes there are just kind of... Bland? Yes. If the notes it. are off key. Yeah. Okay, I just needed a second mouth. Okay. Trader Joe's Reserve Syrah, mm. just okay. Reserve it for someone else. Yeah, not us. We're busy. We're busy. We're trying all these other fucking wines. <laughs> the next wine we're trying. <laughs> This is the Trader Joe's Petite Reserve Merlot. All right, what's this piece of <laughs> <laughs> What's Petite Reserve? It's just like we reserved it, but like not a lot of it. It's trying to like make you think that it's the limited edition. Or, or is it trying, like we reserved it, but like we probably shouldn't have. Yeah, like a library book that you ended up not enjoying. All right, let's try it. Don't laugh. Ooh, that is dry. Actually, hold on. Hey, other mouth. Yes. <laughs> Why did I get married to? <laughs> what do you think of this? What? 
bad. I don't it's a little it's sweet. What? It's like it's like kind of you know bodacious. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it, I'm getting a hint of a uh, bodaciousness. Oh, I, thought, <laughs> I thought that too. So the Trader Joe's Petite Reserve Merlot. Just okay. Just okay. Don't love those petites. This is the Trader Joe's Platinum Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon from Uteville, Napa Valley. I'm curious if it's a good wine. Theoretically, this, yeah. could, this should be the best wine we try. I think this was the most expensive one. Let me check. How much was it? $15. Wow. I, almost every other wine except for the Grand Reserve Shard was under 10. 15 sweet, big, luscious 15 ones. 15 big ones. 15 titties on this one. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's too many. You you don't need that many. Don't be greedy. Unless you're like a dog and you're nursing. That's true, you're right, I'm sorry. All right, let's try it. It smells like wine. <laughs> sorry. You aren't bad at drinking things. I am bad at drinking things. What's I think it's because I anticipate it the way it's gonna taste and that kind of makes me just anxious. Really? It's just wine. What do you think it's gonna do to you? Transform your life? Maybe. <laughs> it is a little bit dry. I think it's... I think it's palatable. It doesn't really blow me away in terms of like quality more than the other ones we've tried. Yeah. But I think it's pretty good. I, I, I think it's think slightly- it's at all. Yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. And what what I love about how bad it is is that it's just like, Egh. I just, I keep trying this thinking it's gonna be better. It's like, it just tastes and smells cheap. You can tell like, I don't say expensive wine, but like good wine that's like moderately priced. It has like a story to tell. Yeah. There's like a beginning, a middle, an end. There's like nuance and like it changes in your mouth and like it's interesting to taste and smell. And like this one kind of is like the spark notes. Trader Joe's uh, Platinum Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon. Just okay. Weird finish too. Kind of tastes like butter. It's so strange. Yeah, the Trader Joe's Petite Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon. Sonoma County, 2018. All right, let's try it. Mm, interesting. Hey Brie, so the reason why I keep calling in Brie is because Brie and I try wine together and sometimes it helps if I can bounce my wine thoughts off of her. We have like kind of slightly different palettes, so sometimes she tastes things I don't taste. You know what, this is not bad. Yeah, I kind of thought it wasn't that bad. If this wine's taste had the last wine you had me try's texture, it would be quite, really quite good. You know what, you're absolutely right. This is why I bring you in. You're smart, thank you. <laughs> Cap should be bold. Fireworks. And like this one's kind of like fire practice. The Trader Joe's Petite Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon is pretty good. It's the Coastal the, Zinfandel. It's the lighthouse wine. 2020 Central Coast. I don't trust a Zinfandel. It's only been cellared for like less than a year. I don't know how good this is gonna be. I just feel like it's gonna be a young wine. It's gonna taste real alcoholic. Coast I didn't want them. I have to want them. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> The Central Coast of Cal- Okay, I can't read the same description of the Central Coast of California. We get it. California is on the ocean. <laughs> Congratulations. Interesting. I don't hate this. I actually kind of like it. I this think is it's actually pretty good. I think it's kind of sweet. Why is this it's not good? not too dry. Wow. Trader Joe's Coastal Zinfandel, pretty good. Honestly, that's exciting. I'm like, I'm surprised and scared. All right, last wine. <gasps> last, last wine, wine. last oh. wine. See, Trader Joe's Coastal Cabernet Sauvignon 2019 Central Coast. Central Coast. Man, going places that are fun sounds, that was fun. Close, Jesus Christ. Good thing this is the last wine. <laughs> mm. Open me up. Oh, that's <laughs> not that kind of video. Not that kind of video. But on our Patreon. <laughs> on our Patreon, Patreon exclusive. <laughs> All right, let's drink this wine. You ready for some wine? wine. Another cab. This hmm. is not a cab. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I read it. Okay, you know what? We get it. You get it. You love reading, okay? Does this have any tasting notes? Blackberry and pepper notes, moderate tannins, and a long toasty finish. You know what? I would say it's a little toasty. That's what I'm smelling. You smelling buttered toast? A little bit, yeah. Huh. This is good. It's perfectly palatable. It's pleasant. This what is what good. tasting notes are you getting? Definitely the buttered toast. I definitely taste the pepper. It tastes like actually a lot of like brighter fruit. Lots of berries. Lots of berries. Just, so many berries. It's like how many berries? It's like, Berry. it's, it's like oops, all berries, the it's wine. It's like Mary Manilow, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think the Trader Joe's Coastal Cabernet it's, Sauvignon it's, is really great. It's really great. It's and really, it's really great. great. <laughs> this is pretty good. I don't want any more. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm also done. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what wines you liked? Because I don't. I didn't really like any of them that much. I'll be honest, this whole experience kind of a wash for me. <laughs> really? No, it's fine. I mean, I like that one. Um, Honestly, I love all my children equally. I think the Reserve Chard and the Reserve Sauvignon Blanc. Was pretty good. Sauvignon Blanc. I think the grape ones were oh. really tasty. Listen, all these wines, except for two of them, were under $10. And for that price, I think if you like them, it's worth it. You know what? And they're like... worth a little, they're worth a little Pinkie Pie and a little mouthy poo. Just yeah. Give, give it a little tongue poke. Just a little, 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 little
We love you. We love all of you. We Follow us. Join our Patreon. Check us out at other what, places. What else do you what want? What do you want to see? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want, what Karen? What do you want from us? Just kidding. <laughs> you just tell us. Comment. You know, love you. Bye. 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 I'm going to go home.